In this video, we're going to cover the new Bloom asset from Oka Software. This asset enables you to add Bloom to your scene and it looks really good. It's very unique compared to Unity's default Bloom. And um, by adding it, you'll be able to make your game look a little bit more interesting and uh, add a, different, a few different options to your game, including ghosting and halos to your Bloom that help your Bloom stand out. So if you're interested in adding a new Bloom system to your game, uh, in addition to or instead of Unity's default Bloom, then in this video, we'll go through that for you and you'll learn everything you need to know. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the Bloom from Oka Software. This Bloom is available on okasoftware.com. If you go there, you can sign up for a free trial and that's a, I believe, seven day free trial and download that asset from there. Now, when you do download the asset into your you know, computer, you will need to drag and drop it into your packages folder. So your packages folder, if you're in Unity, you can just go ahead and right click on your packages and then click show in Explorer. And then once it'll open up this window and you can click in there and then you'll drag, drag, drag and drop it into here. <laughs> so uh, I haven't done that because I bind it using the manifest JSON. Um, I find that a little bit easier and I keep all my assets or uh, packages in one place. So you can see I have bindings for all the different uh, assets uh, in my different sort of uh, packages folder. But for you, the easiest way will just be to go ahead and drag and drop it, the extracted zip file into your packages folder. Now, once you've done that, Unity will recompile and then you'll be able to add the bloom uh, in a global volume. So I'll delete this here and then reset it up. So you'll right click in your scene hierarchy and then click uh, volume, let's see here volume and uh, by default unity doesn't add a default volume so you can or default profile rather so you can create a new profile and then you'll be able to add an override so the override applies to this specific volume right how, right now we have the mode set to global um, but if you set the mode to local then the uh, volume system will automatically interpolate the values for each override but we'll keep it as global for now and then you can click add override Oka software Bloom. Now the Bloom is disabled by default, and that's because if it were enabled by default, Unity would automatically apply the Bloom in every scene, even if you haven't added the, uh, even if even if you haven't manually turned it on. So it is disabled by default, and the way you turn it on is just clicking this enabled option and then clicking that button, and now you can see that it is enabled. Now we're gonna go ahead and enter Game View. So you can see a little bit more about what's going on. And uh, we have this sort of rotation camera set up in uh, my scene. You might not have that set up, but uh, yeah. So this is the Bloom. There are three separate effects happening right now, ghosting, halos, and Bloom. Uh, for the Bloom, you can configure the Bloom intensity here by dragging this slider. That affects the Bloom intensity. And you can adjust the max iterations as well. So that'll adjust how sort of uh, wide the bloom can get. You can see here at the higher levels, it gets quite wide. Um, I recommend maybe six or seven, uh, but you know, use what looks best for your project. Uh, more iterations is also slightly more performance intensive. Now looking down at ghosting and halos, uh, I'll turn off the halo so you can see just the ghosting. And I'll turn down the bloom so you can see just the ghosting as well. So here we have just the ghosting in effect. So basically what's happening here is we look at the scene and we extract a zone in the scene based on a certain threshold brightness. And if it's in excess of that brightness, then we'll go ahead and spread that ghost. Uh, and we have eight different ghost events here. So you can see when we turn that down, uh, the ghost disappears, and then we can turn that back up. Now for the ghosting, for each one of the, uh, you can control the sort of overall ghost tint. So that's here. You can make it red or whatever color you want. By default, white is nice because it allows you to fine tune the individual ghost color options. Uh, and you can also, by default, we're spreading out the RGB channels on the ghosted version of the screen image. So that lets us get these nice uh, sort of red, green, and blue sort of textures. But you can see if we turn that off, now the color kind of uh, flattens a little bit. And so you can control that 
with X mapping to the R channel, Y mapping to the G channel, and Z mapping to the blue channel. So, you know, if you want, you can spread it out pretty far. I recommend something pretty subtle. And that's what that looks like. And then you can fine tune how far each of the individual ghost layers goes. So here we're saying kind of tighten or spread the ghost. And you can also change the tint of the color for that one. Right, so that gives you a lot of control. Um, we have pretty good defaults, so you probably don't need to go into that level of detail, but it's available to you if you wanna, if you wanna change those things, right? Uh, the other thing that we'll take a quick look at is the thresholds. So the threshold applies to both the ghost and the halo. The threshold edge determines how sort of sharp the edge is, and the range determines that as well. Sort of um, like the threshold edge says if it's like above this uh, brightness level, then we won't include it, or we will only include it if it's above this brightness level. You can see that there's some pixelation happening here if we increase the edge too high and the range is quite low. Uh, let's see if I can pause it. So you can see right around here, there's a little bit of you know issues happening. And as we increase the range, those edges soften up. So you want to have a relatively high range and an edge that's low enough to capture the, uh, the sort of least bright details that you want to uh, capture in your ghost and in your halo. Now we'll turn off the ghosting and turn on the halo. So the halo is pretty cool. It's kind of like a fisheye effect. You can see here that it has this very interesting sort of haloing kind of fisheye texture. And so that's the haloing. You can turn that off or you can turn it way up and it adds this very interesting effect. The chroma spread is also configurable for the halo separately from the ghosting. So you can turn this way up or turn it down based on what you want. You can also configure the tinting for that as well as the fisheye width, which can help you sort of tighten or loosen the fisheye strength, and then also the fisheye strength as well. Which kind of spreads out that uh, halo at the edges. Now that's the halo, and we covered the ghost, and then the bloom as well. So that's pretty much everything you need to know for the bloom uh, override that we've introduced. You can see here that like uh, there's sort of so you can see here like that this you know bright area is being occluded by these dark spheres and that that's also sort of propagating out to the ghosting it's totally normal and you should expect that to happen um, because it is being included so that's being included correctly when it's uh, sort of reaching the ghosting stage and i think that's pretty much it so if you're interested in downloading this asset like i mentioned you can download it from our website focusoftware.com uh, there is a free trial. It's a seven-day free trial, so you can try it out. If you like it, you can keep your subscription. If you don't like it, that's great. Let me know, and I can uh, improve it for you. And uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, just go ahead and leave a comment down below. And if you liked this type of content, and if you're interested in other uh, assets, both free assets as well as premium assets like this, uh, go ahead and like the video and subscribe so that you can stay up to date with new releases as well. Cool. All right, well, thanks for watching, and talk to you soon. Cheers.